Well, all right, guys. Hey, good evening. Man, it's about that time to put this meat on so I can, you know, so I can go to sleep. So right now, it's right at probably 9 o'clock. And I'm doing three briskets and uh, two pork butts today. Pit, way below 50, man. It is cold. It's probably it's probably around 26 degrees today, but uh, but today let's go ahead and look at this thing so I can get started and get on and uh, go to so I can go to sleep. Okay, but let's see. So I'm not gonna cook anything on the top shelf today. All right, I got I just got three briskets and I'm going to be doing just a couple variations tonight. I'm going to be cooking uh, one in the pan. Okay, which is a uh, fat side up. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna be doing two nakeds right on the right on the grates. This one right here is is a uh, fat cap up, and I'm also using my meter blocks today. Okay, so so that's probe one, and see that that one is probe yeah probe three. So in the pan, straight on the rack. That one's fat cap up. Okay, and this one is probe two fat cap down so you guys get the variations about you know which one do you like in the pan fat cap up fat cap down you know i don't get them all kind of which way okay but they all come out good and they all always come out good but this one's a big one man this one is man that one's almost completely the size of the great <laughs> so that one's pretty long that's from end to end that's a big one you know so i'm only using salt and pepper let me see how big this one is. I, I didn't even look at how long this one is. Because usually I cut to fit my pan. You know, that one too is about almost great to great too. So these briskets are averaging at least 16 to 17 pounds. Okay. And that's a big one too. I got all these little pieces in there that I love to eat as a snack. Okay. I made some big ones. And then I got, uh, I'm going to be doing, these are my pork butts. I am going to be doing, I don't know if you guys ever heard of or have, or have, you, or have you ever had pork butts with sauerkraut. Smoked pork butt with sauerkraut. And uh, once I get them uh, real tender, you know, I'm not going to shred it up. I'm not going to shred it like a, like poor pork, but I'm going to, you know, slice it up like it's in chunk pieces. I'm just going to let it fall off the bone. And then I'm going to put it in a pan and put sauerkraut around the edges, man. That is really, really, you guys got to try that. It's really good. But well, usually I would use a picnic and I keep all the fat. So I didn't trim too much fat that's on the bottom. I'll let you guys see. Okay. So I still got a lot of fat underneath. And um, I'm going to let that run it down just a little bit. But when I put that sauerkraut around it, I'm telling you guys, that's a, that's a good money maker. Okay. But I am going to run a little wet pit today. I got these pans in here. They got some water in there. Okay. And just to catch all the drippings, because you know, I do, I love a clean pit. So I don't want all that stuff dropping down and then burning and then giving that nasty burn smell when it goes up. Okay, I can't stand, I can't stand that burn smell. So uh, I have done like this when I first got the pit. I used to cook like this many moons ago, but I found out over, you know, a couple years, I like cooking in pans. And I do have these on a the rack too. Yeah, I got them, they're on racks because it's, it's easy to maneuver. That's why I like it. I like all my juice. But either or, but once these get to like 165, I'm going to put these back in the pan, or 170 back in the pan, and put aluminum foil over it. Okay? But the only difference is, to me, is that the, the, bar, the bottom, you're getting a nice bark on the bottom too. That, that really don't matter to me. Okay? But it's, it's just your preference. All right. But we'll see in the morning time so you guys can see the difference. So let's close this up. Oh, I forgot something. Let me put this meat probe in his butt. Get in there. Okay, there we go. Let's check out the firebox. Get you guys see the setup. Hey, cook for us. He said, cook for you. Hey, you got it, man. <laughs> Keep on smoking. You got it, Ralph. You know, I, I don't never change my basic setup. Okay. I know some guys, they like to bury their wood. I don't bury it. I don't have them on top. Uh, do you get a better smoke profile if you bury it? Does, it, does your wood last longer? Yeah, it does. Um, but I got some buried, and I got some that's not buried. And these little splits right here, 
they're not, but they're they pretty big. Probably, you know, two pieces of chunk wood. That's all I'm going to use. All right, and I'm using kinks for today, and this is hickory too. I'm going to light that up in just a minute. Let you guys see the, because I am going to use my fan system today. This is my meter block. All four, pro, all four probes are, are ready to go. And today, guys, I'm using my DigiQ. All right. So I got the pit set for, oh, you know what? I didn't want to go that high. I don't feel like getting up. I'm going to go to 245. And uh, for the butt, I got the butt set for uh, 170. No, nope. let's go to 175. And I'm gonna wrap. I'm gonna wrap them butts about 175. Okay. And then the old pit bull. If you see here, I got my draft. I don't have it wide open. Focus in. I got it on halfway, which is halfway up here. So I, I don't want to do that. I want to keep this wide open, but I want to control the air coming out of here. So I know last time I had it on full blast, and I kind of went through my material kind of you know, too fast. Okay. So halfway does good. Let's go light this thing up so I can go to sleep. All right. And I am, I'm running wide open on my stack too. And I got these bio cues. I'm just gonna light them up. And that's all she wrote. Okay, so I want a slow burn tonight. Hey, Derek, guess what, man? It's gonna give me at least 12. <laughs> uh, at least 12 hours. Now, it'll probably give me about, about eight hours, okay? So I'm gonna let that run for about maybe a minute or so, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, push it in and just leave it alone. You know, guys, I'm not gonna spritz anything. I don't I don't have to with this pit. It's, no, it's, it's enough moisture in this pit where I don't, I don't have to do it. Plus, it's, it's burning real slow. Let's check out this one more time. Wow, that's wow, that's cooking for about a minute or so. Let's see these butts. So these butts is nothing but salt and pepper, guys. I'm gonna cook these uh these butts just like a brisket. Woo, get over there. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's look under here. See, nothing but salt and pepper. Man, that's a big one too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these probably all the way to 165, probably no higher than 170, and then I'm gonna wrap them up. So I'll probably start wrapping, probably right around, right along probably, uh, I'm gonna say about three o'clock in the morning, maybe 3.30. Man, it's getting cold, the temperature is dropping. All right, that's a wrap, let's close this thing up. You know, once I close it up, I'm not gonna open it back up until about four o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna lock my pit up. Get in there. And then there she go. That's what you want to see. Let's go ahead and push this in. Get in there. Uh oh, we gotta do some push-ups. All right. All right. The beast, the Hulk is lit. I'm just let the let the pit do its thing. The pit's gonna make me look good, make my meat taste good. I don't have to do nothing but go to sleep and wake up. Something man, I miss barbecue. I have COVID. But drink water. You know, I'm just, hey man, I hope you uh, I hope you uh, get well, man. I'm just uh, hey, I'm, I'm praying on that. Okay, I just let you know we're both on agreement that you are healed in Jesus' name. Okay, and uh, hopefully the COVID doesn't take your taste buds away that you can't taste your food. But man, hey, I, uh, I'm just wishing you well, and I know everything's going to be better. All right? And I know everybody else is on agreement with us. All right, guys, there she goes. She's lit. I'm closing it up. All right, guys, I'll see you in the morning. About 4 o'clock. I'm going to say 3.30 in the morning. Hey, God bless. Hey, pray for each other, and you guys take care. And there again, yeah, you remember that right there, brother. You you look at that and you study that. Not today, devil. Not today. All right, guys. God bless you.